All right, so here's what we're going to need for this conversion. So we're going to need the Pixelcade DMD for the At Games Pinball. That's this guy. And you're going to need a front plex cover. So that's this. And then from your original hardware, you need this little bracket piece. And then we already took out our exciters. That's these guys. And then that D-pad. So I took apart that D-pad. It's right here and I'll show you how to reassemble that one. And then you also need a glue gun as well. All right, so let's get going. So first thing is we're gonna take this bracket and just put it right on the top. And you just wanna line up the holes. So just like that. And the hardware is included. So we're just gonna pop this guy here. Take a little hex nut. In case you're wondering, so this bracket, I took off the original mount here. So I just deassembled everything, but that's where it came from. So we got our bracket on here. And that's basically what we need for this piece. So let's set this aside. And oh, actually, we do need one more thing. So let's go get ahead and get our glue gun ready. What we're going to do actually is glue these exciters on this guy. So if you turn it over, I actually included uh, maybe a little hard to see on the camera, but. That's exactly where the exciters are going to go. So just look for the engraving for the circles, and that's where these guys are going to go. Okay, so the way this is going to go in is it's going to set in like this. So therefore you want your exciters, this is the top part, so you want your exciters on the bottom. And so again, just look for those holes here, just where those circles are, and make it nice and easy. Oops. I think what I'll do as well is I'll get out my heat gun. Okay, so I got my heat gun here. I would say this step is optional, but what I'm going to do is, is when I took these off, there's a little kind of existing... On here, I'm just going to heat it up, kind of reuse some of that glue. Again, probably don't really need to do that, so you can skip this step. Okay, now let's take the glue gun here and just put some generous glue on those circles. Okay, and then glue dries pretty quickly, so let's hurry up. Take one here right on that circle and just press down. Take the second one. Right here, let's press down. Notice I've got the wires kind of the same orientation. And just press down until the glue is. Um, so let's take that tape and just go like so. So we're done with this piece. This is the power cable for the DMD that goes with a five volt, 10 amp power supply. And then this is of course the cable for our exciters. I guess we could clean this. So we'll clean that up later. Maybe do a little tie wrap. So that's what this looks like from the bottom and the top. Again, this is just gonna slide like so. And then you see these screws here. Those will line up with the existing screws on your At Games pinball so you don't have to redrill any holes. All right, so now let's take care of that D-pad. So the whole, the way this is gonna work is this is gonna go on the bottom. 
and then this is going to cover and then diffuse those LEDs and the D-pad is going to go right here. So what we'll do first is we'll take off the masking off this guy. This is acrylic, so it scratches pretty easy. So just be careful. That's the whole point of the masking. Now, just so you know, the reason why you still want to keep the D-pad going is if you want to leverage Yak Games native functionality, you still need your D-pad to be able to navigate around. And then if you want to switch over to external third-party pinball and go into OTG mode, then you still need your D-pad to navigate this menu as well. So that's why the D-pad is there. Now, that said, if you are not going to be leveraging the native at games pinball functionality and you basically are just essentially gutting the ALP and using it with a PC for external pinball then maybe you don't care about the d-pad and I do have a, a customer that uh, went that way so in that case we can also do this mount and forgo the d-pad and instead put a hole over here to mount a button for example for like a fire button so some pinball games have an external fire button that's a good use case. So if that's your use case and you want to go that way, um, we'll add an option on the order page and just make sure you pick that option. The default will be with the D-pad, but if, like I said, if that's something that you're doing, um, we can ship that as well. Just make sure you pick that option uh, when you check out. Okay, so I want to show you something really important. So in the next part of the video, I show you how to wire up that D-pad. Now, as I was filming that, I actually made a mistake and I wired it upside down. So I want to show, I later fixed it, which I didn't show that in the video. So I just want to show you how the correct orientation should be. So in the, in the video you're going to watch, you're going to see the D-pad. This connector is going to be in the upper left corner, but it should really be in the lower right corner. So make sure, don't make the same mistake I did when you're doing it, make sure it's this orientation. If not, when you press up on the D-pad, it's really gonna be down and vice versa. So you wanna make sure you get the correct orientation. So super important, um, just make a note of that, that the orientation should be like this. Let's do the orientation the right way. So I'm gonna go like this, if I'm not mistaken. Actually the other way. So it's gonna go on like that, line up with those holes. So let's take this, and then now we need to reconstruct our D-pad. So first thing we want to do actually is take this guy, this one, and this is going to go fit on the top like that. And there's four small screws. Let's just get those ready. Let's go ahead and take this, flip it over. Okay. And then what you want to do is take this guy and basically line it up with these holes right here. So there's going to be two holes to line up on it. Okay, and you'll see it just kind of plop on there. And then just screw in. These are small screws, so just be careful. Careful not to strip these screws. You can easily strip them. And so basically, now you've got this piece attached, like so. So go ahead and plop it down again. So just put a little microfiber below this so we don't scratch the other side. So we're going to take this first, this D pad first, pop that on there. Then we're going to take this guy down with this guy. 
because the board is going to go down like this, which means the contacts are on this side. So therefore we want these, this facing up, not this, because this is the actual contacts that's going to um, connect those metal connectors. So let's pop that in there like that. Okay, so have a look there. And then this board will line up the holes. So if you look on there, you'll see some holes. Just line up those holes. And you can feel there's a couple guides there. Just feel those. Okay, so there's your D-pad. Just press it to make sure it has a good feel to it. Yeah, that actually feels pretty good. So this is the top piece. Got my D-pad on there. This is the bottom piece. Now we can go over to the ALU and finish the install. All right, so now we're gonna install our DMD for your At Games Legend Pinball. Now I've already cheated and I've already uninstalled the original one. So this is here, you notice I've taken the D-pad off already. I've taken this part apart, so that is that one. And then before we put on the new DMD control panel, which is gonna be this guy, and then this is our top cover, which we'll put on at the end. We need to get our wires ready. So this is the D-pad connector. This is the exciters that we, re, that we reattached. This is the USB cable that Pixelcade is gonna plug into. That's plugged into our PC. Now I could use, there actually is a USB cable that comes with the At Games. So if I wanted to have this hooked up to my At Games native, I could use that USB cable. But in this case, I'm mostly gonna be doing third-party pinball, so I'm gonna use separate USB going to the, the PC. And then lastly, we need power for our pixel cage. So basically these four connectors here, let's just kind of put them to the side. Now let's grab our control panel. So while we got it, let's just connect what we need. Okay, so there's your USB connection. We need power. So let's connect the power here. I'll kind of set this down very gently. Okay, so there's our power. I'm gonna put that back. Um, D-pad, we're gonna need that, and then the exciter, might as well connect that right now. So remember, we took those exciters from the original one and we put them here. So let's take those connectors, which are here. And this is an easy one, only goes in one way. There we go. Okay, and we'll save this one for later because that's gonna go on the top. So we'll just go like this and we'll just line up the holes. So this is all laser cut. So try to make this as easy as possible for you guys. So just plop that on here. And then now it's just a matter of lining up the holes on each side. And again, we're, we're keeping this because we're gonna need this the D-pad connector, which is coming next. So let's take those original screws and just screw them in nice and easy. And you notice that we have the rails off, by the way. I didn't mention that earlier, but we'll put the rails on after the fact. So these rails are off at the moment. Okay, got those guys in. Now we're gonna take our top. This is basically gonna diffuse the LEDs. 
And then this is where we want to plug in our D-pad to. So let's just do that right now. This only goes in one way. Yeah, I think it goes in that way. Okay. And then just this just simply sets on the top. And then you see it lines up with these holes here. So let's go ahead and do these, these guys. Before I attach the side plates, let me just do a quick test, make sure everything's good. All right, so now if you look at this guy, my lighting is not the greatest right now, so sorry about that. But if you then take these side plates, you'll see they line up quite nicely with the DMD. So nice and clean installation there. So let's go ahead and attach these guys. And I think the way this works is we need to do the sides first. Okay, and last piece, we'll just install this little bar right here at the end. And these holes should line up, so you don't need to do any changes. They'll just line up for you. And then for whatever reasons you need to work on this later, you know, this is basically how it comes off. You just slide this in. I can actually take this off without taking off those sidebars. And then once you're done working on it, just reattach the screws.